Hi, I'm Tim Quast and welcome. We're going to talk about easy step number three out of five, which is entries and exits. Probably the most important thing. And it's the one I get questions about most often. Uh, and, and we talk, we spend a lot of time in the, the week, regular, if I'm here, regular weekly demos, live demos, uh, and we talk about entries and exits. So just as a refresher, the first thing you do is understand the dashboard, then create portfolios, because now you can begin to uh, cluster data the way that you might want to do it. And the third thing is entries and exits. So let's go understand those. So it all flows from looking at the dashboard and saying, what are the overall trends in the market? What's the broad market doing? That's gonna determine whether I'm putting more or less money to work. And then I wanna go look at the whole market and say, well, where's the, where is the money going? We build for you 12 portfolios, the 11 sectors. So that's, that's the whole market. That's the national market system of US stocks. Does not include NYC American stocks or over-the-counter pink sheets, gray sheet stocks. Uh, because the rules are different for those. We, the math doesn't work the same. Um, but you're gonna, we want to know, well, where's the money going? And if we looked across here, we'd probably say, well, <laughs> where do you look? For, you know, everything is peaking. This is early October as I'm recording these, and it's hard to find good stuff. I could say maybe the gamers. There are only three stocks in here, but let's go have a look at those. So uh, right away when you click through, you're going to see the you know, composite data. So as of, if I'm looking at the data here, as of October 5th, the group is 8.3, only three stocks. So clearly the sentiment has been, the demand side has been very good. At the, at the same time, the supply side's been rising too. So we know that's gonna mute performance. But now let's go look at these entries and exits. So when should you buy something? Well, you wanna buy things that have a rising demand curve and a you know stable or falling supply curve because when there's more demand than supply, things tend to rise. And that's the basic principle here. If I look at this 30-day view of data, it's not great. It's been a half of it at five, and then it's been really weak, and now it's up a little bit. But the trend for short volume is very, very, uh, it's high, it's, it's an uptrend. And so it's been difficult for the price to produce gains. So I probably look at that and say, well, I'm probably not gonna, that's not a great entry, but let's back it up and see if we can see where there would have been a good opportunity. I'm gonna back it up even all the way to six months because you can see it's been challenging for a while. You know, the best point in time would have been here. So the stock rises back to five and short volume is way below trend. That could be a pretty good spot. Even an, an uptick is even better. And then if, as long as it stays above five, you're good. When, that's, when sentiment peaks, if it hits 10, that's awesome. I much prefer stocks that are hitting 10 because it tells us there, not only is there strong demand, but there could be some mo momentum. And so those things tend to do better uh, than simply the performance of the market, which is what we want. And you can see that short volume was right at trend. That looks pretty good. And then as soon as that changes, you leave. So, but otherwise, it's difficult to find a good entry point here. You could say, well, is this one setting up? Well, once again, I don't like how high short volume is. It's well over trend. So the next thing we would do is back test that. If it happened to interest us, we would back test it. And that's easy step number four. So watch that video. Uh, now let's go look at take two just to have a comparative here. Um, again, here's the challenge. While there's definitely been an in increase in demand, supply is rising at the same time and it's not a super strong ramp. You know, this, if, if, if uh, sentiment just immediately jumps, well that, and short volume does too, that can be a meme stock. That can mean stock is being created that uh, to fill orders and the stock can really get some momentum. But I'd look at this and say, again, it's not a great entry exit. We're looking for rising demand and constrained supply. And we will go, we'll repeat that over and over and over. You can come see the demos and we'll walk through it. But that's what you always want to see. And, uh, we'll, and then you want to use math to make sure you validate it. I would say, uh, you know, e so Electronic Arts has the best demand curve, but once again, short volume is very high. All of these things would, to me, introduce caution. And I think they're reflective of the broad market where we can see that demand has, uh, is just about peaked too. But this, you know, if that weren't the case, uh, then, you know, our interest in putting more money to work would certainly be stronger. 
That's what we want to look for. We want to look for rising demand, stable or falling supply.